Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. Today we're continuing in our, maybe just this brief topic on uh, apologetics to a certain extent, where we're kind of identifying a few, few of the uh, cults that are out there. The last couple of days we were talking about Mormonism. Today I want to talk about the Jehovah's Witnesses. And uh, unlike those of uh, Mormonism, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses do not seek to identify as, as 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 Christians. As a matter of fact, they don't want anything to do with Christians for the most part. Um, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses were started and uh, by Charles Taz Russell and later taken uh, uh, taken over through uh, Joseph Rutherford in, um, uh, in 1879. And, uh, and, and it's uh, primarily they, they, they seek the, to believe that they are the one true religion out there. Uh, they used to take uh, part of uh, Revelation where it talks about 12,000 from every tribe, and they, uh, which ultimately ended up being 144,000, and they said that the 144,000 were, uh, were, Jeho uh, were Jehovah's Witnesses, and that uh, when the, the, the cult outgrew 144,000, they, now they say that the 144,000 are those who are going to be in heaven. Uh, the rest of the Jehovah's Witnesses uh, will live here on earth. So if you're a good Jehovah's Witness and you um, you sell your magazines, you do uh, you do your good works, do what they tell you to do, that you'll have everlasting life on earth. And uh, so what they believe about Jesus Christ is that he was he is not God. Uh, before he lived on earth, he was the Michael Arch, uh, Michael the Archangel. And, uh, and God used him to create the earth. He was a man who simply lived a perfect life while here on earth. And uh, after dying on a stake, not the cross, they believe he died on the stake, he was resurrected as a spirit while his body uh, was destroyed. And they believe that he's not coming again, but actually he returned invisibly in 1914 and will soon uh, come and destroy all non-Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, so um, without a doubt, Jehovah's Witnesses is a cult. It is a, a, a cult that is, uh, uses intimidation in order for uh, to keep their members uh, working, uh, knocking on doors, ev uh, doing their proselytizing, selling magazines, the Watchtower magazine, and, uh, and uh, they believe that uh, their followers, certainly non-Jehovah's non, uh, Witnesses, but certainly even their followers are too inept to uh, read the Bible for themselves, that they must be interpreted through the Watchtower Society, which means that they're always enslaved, uh, always connected, always uh, must stay stay uh, connected to uh, the watchtower in order to grow and to, um, to eventually uh, live uh, eternally here on earth, while the rest of us who are not Jehovah's Witnesses will be destroyed. And so certainly they don't believe in God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. And, um, and uh, so, I mean... That, among many things, really what makes uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses a cult. They don't believe in the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Remember our passage yesterday, but if even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than that which we have preached to you, let him be accursed. In other words, anything that's outside of uh, what we find in the Word of God the death and the burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, God the Son, became a, uh, was born of a virgin, lived that sinless life, died on the cross for our sins, resurrected from the grave, and that all who repent of their sins and receive Jesus Christ as their Savior will be saved. Uh, remember, 
For by grace you are saved through faith, and not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And so man is not saved by works. We can't do enough to, uh, to earn, uh, to pay back one um, sinful deed, much for us, a multi, the, mo the mountain of sins that we've committed in this life. It was through Jesus and Jesus Christ alone that you were saved. The Jehovah's Witnesses, we need to pray for them because if they don't repent, if they don't receive Jesus Christ as their Savior, they're going to die and go to hell. And now let me make this very clear. Um, in spite of everything they believe, they don't believe in the flag, they don't believe in birthdays, they don't believe in holidays, they don't believe in this. The worst part of that is they don't believe in Jesus Christ. And many of these people are good people, good in the sense that they're moral. And uh, they, they are sincere. Um, I have a friend uh, back in the day. I tried to witness to him and, uh, and try to share Jesus with them and try to show the errors of their beliefs. But they're so brainwashed because of, the, of, of having to be so connected to that or they'll lose the ability to live forever here on earth. Uh, we need to continue to share Jesus with them. As they come and knock on your door, do not, do not, do not let them into your home. You don't know if they're going to influence your children. You don't know if they're going to influence you. Have nothing to do with them. I remember one time I had someone who wanted me to share Jesus with their uh, Jehovah's Witness wife. And the first time I went there uh, to witness to her, uh, uh, you know, I was naive in the sense that I let her control the topic. And to, needless to say, nothing occurred. You know, it both stalemated. I know what I believe. She knew what she believed. And so the next time uh, that we met, which was the last time, I decided I'm going to control the conversation. I'm going to have her come uh, to my office and um, and I, sh you know, I controlled the narrative, and needless to say, she didn't want anything to do with it. She didn't want, um, she didn't, I don't know if she thought she was going to convert me or whatever else, but once she realized that there was nothing going to occur in my life, that she needed to be saved, she got out of there. And I think her husband was upset with me at that point, um, but I can't save anybody. I can only share Jesus with them. And she probably went home upset and angry. That's all right. That's all right. If she's offended because of the gospel, let her be offended because the Bible says to fail to believe that Jesus Christ, to believe uh, in a different gospel, they are accursed. They're going to be damned to hell. Watch out for the Jehovah's Witnesses. They are not Christians. They're trying to convert you to a lie. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you, and I love you as well, and I'll talk to you soon.